So the Bank of England is certainly on track to be cutting rates in the next couple of months. Uh, that's because they have had to stand and wait while the Brexit process played out. And of course, we had the election. And if they became involved in that, they could be accused of being too political. So while they've been waiting, um, the Federal Reserve and the ECB have obviously both been cutting interest rates. So now the Bank of England has to catch up. The question is just when? Well, the new governor takes over at uh, the middle of March. He won't have a meeting until the end of March. The question is whether they go before that uh, so that Mark Carney can do something before the end of his term. Uh, I think it is quite possible that they will be cutting rates uh, in the meeting at the end of January. I'd say it's 50-50. I think there will be more to be priced in when it comes to Bank of England rate cuts because they won't just be doing one. There will be more to come this year as well. Uh, but in terms of sterling, in the short term, yes, that might weigh on the pound, particularly as there's now quite a long position been building up since the election result. Um, but beyond the next four or five weeks, we also have to look at the budget, which should be a, a big fiscal stimulus for the UK economy. So then we get to a point later this year where we have a fiscal and monetary stimulus, which could be quite positive for sterling. But yes, in the short term, it looks like more downside to come as uh, more expectation of rate cuts from the Bank of England increases. When it comes to the stock markets, I'm afraid we have to talk again about our friend Gamma, which is this... Uh, function of all these options that are out there on the S&P 500 and other stock markets. And the gamma position is very high. It's very long of gamma, which means that uh, volatility is very low and things stay in quite a tight range. Now, this could change this Friday, the 17th of January, because there is a big options expiry. So really, I would think that stock markets continue to look quite positive and uh, continue to drift higher, particularly this week where we expect the signing of the US-China trade deal. But uh, once this Friday is out of the way and we go into next week, and of course we read the fine print of this trade deal document, uh, then that would be the opportunity for the stock market to potentially head lower if there is some disappointment.